Hey, how's it going? Look, I really do want to work for people in Hollywood. I am thrilled by their English speaking skills. Okay. I, I kind of like international people as long as they're not uh, deranged or anything like that or um, incompetent. Uh, there's, there's a kind of a, it's an interesting thing uh, when I was growing up on the West Coast. I would see you know, some people, some girls, and I'd say, sort of like, all right, they're, they're smiling, they're, you know, I'll go over there and talk to them. And when I'd get there and I put my best foot forward, okay, I was sort of say, hey, you looks, you know, what's happening? Um, and they, because I'm, I cannot go switch foot, I used to skateboard a lot, surfing and whatnot. Um, it's physically impossible for me to go switch foot. I would fall over unless if I was holding on to something. Um, um, that they would lose interest completely. It would just be like, no possible way, unless if it was no one else I knew was around there and the woman was really smart. And then it was possible. I I say that I bring that up rather because it's I I despise random people as well as people who I don't have rapport with. That would be English speaking and and then a whole lot um, for absolute whatever. Okay, um, and conversations. I I really think that's the stupidest thing that you could actually do unless if you have just kind things to say to people really thoughtful you know there's very little conversation that can't be written down and read and identified there in a very uh, I want to say traditional but I don't know if it's all word processors you know but you know it's printouts actually because you generally make eye contact with people and then you know, here, here's the hot copy. I want to see it on paper myself, especially. Um, and it's not that I'm intolerable, but I, I'm really into the science. And I, you know, I, trust me, I tried everything else. Yeah, again, I, you know, th there was no escape from the Wild West when, you know, it's, uh, it's very clear how uh, Bert Baccarat He's Jewish American, but because he's born in the Midwest, like Bobby Fischer, that he doesn't really get accepted. He didn't, I don't know if he even had any cultural growing up in, in the actual Midwest, but um, in New York, they weren't automatically included. They, you know, Israel didn't want anything to do with them. Einstein and Bobby Fischer is similar intelligence. You know, Einstein's like, we'll give you everything. And Bobby Fischer like, Chicago. Yeah, no, that's, those are fascists. They would only think, you know. Or something, I don't know, maybe it's Al Capone, drug pusher, George Washington. Okay, all this and that. And so I'm possessed by the, by the conspiracy <clears throat> that... When I was 13, it was clear that um, like I was either going to be in some sanctuary with someone who I really cared about um, or there was going to be radical conspiracy going on forever. Um, and that was before I did any, you know, I was too young to do drugs at 13 um, or I didn't, whatever. Um, you know, I guess some people do, but I don't think that helps. Uh, Think about uh, Drew Barrymore and burning the house down. <laughs> well, maybe it does help. I'm not sure there. It's a <laughs> bad uh, excuses. Yeah, excuses. Um, conversations, indeed. Um, that's what I'm talking. Oh, wow. Isn't this cute? Um, but I really do want to help Hollywood. I, I think that would be cool. And again, it's largely the, the, the linguistic rapport um that is highly attractive i i certainly love all the european um thinkers 
but I also get the sense that they're all possessed, like they're, um, and I know that's basically the, like, well, we put them on camera because of that reason, so, yeah. Um, with the exception of Tom Hiddleston, I suppose. Um, and I, I have, I used to know a few, a bit about Hollywood, but for the last 20 years, anyone who's emerged in, in that time, I know very little about because I just have not had a private space for uh, studying any of that. This it does not exist, and if you don't have that, and you have the internet uh, railing you with information which can't even be printed out, you know, it's not to be curated. You know, it's really it's trivial. It's all. Um, but I, I want to work with people in Hollywood, and again, it's largely because of the, the English-speaking rapport, and, uh, you know, when I went to Japan, I thought it was, I, I was had my hopes up, like, oh my god, I, this is going to be great, and then I realized not a single, you know, even though there's you know, probably at least a million fluent English speakers, none of them actually came around me or anyone who had a clue what was going on, and so corruption indeed. And that's, you know, why I wanted to sign uh, an NDA, a, a lifetime agreement, so that the the visionary stuff can be safely, responsibly, respectfully developed. I, I want that to happen. Um, you know, and... Uh, okay, I'll make an analogy between Angelina Jolie, who wants to be a fashion designer, I'm not sure exactly. Um, I really love industrial functionality, especially that one gets me excited, um, especially as something that's closer to universal. I love that idea because you could have higher quality materials that isn't a disposable economy because that is, you know, you know you're dealing with crap at that point. Um, you, know, so, you know, whatever toxic, synthetic, you know, t-shirt smells like formaldehyde. It's like, wow, it's so cheap. And, fashion or is it functionality i think that's but um the analogy for Angelina an only child um leonardo um i have a bunch of case studies uh henry ford and franklin delano roosevelt and both of them can be directly linked to first and second world war ultimately in fact with henry ford you know making a million cars the year before World War One, um, and not really looking for the you know, no taxation without looking for the um, American prophecy, looking for you know that's the Georgian stuff. King George, saint of the land, should be finding the um, the intelligent individuals instead. It's his advisors tell him, no, they're yeah. all possessed. They're all convicts and and heretics or something like that you know um instead of saying no we have intelligent people and we've got actual convicts we've got dangerous people and and uh, and we can balance that to gear that so that you don't have an increase of of convict uh um mentally disturbed or whatever uh um it is because I I do believe that uh, the old world they would differentiate between the lucky person, the the guy who's got a big sister or a little sister, and the guy who's got a big sister, single mother, single father. You know, this, I try to quantify that in my writing, um, which I I did quite a bit just in the last couple of days. Um, I'm really into doing that, and and also to presenting it, you know, and directing sort of a bunch of stuff like projects like industrial design and uh, and focus because I'm heavily distracted by random things rather than people who actually care. That would be so cool if people who actually cared would actually contact me and say, you know, this is absolutely the truth. Me specifically, call this number now, 
and do not send any messages <laughs> because intervention rapport um, I'd like to say destiny but I know some people go oh no no we do that I, I've seen this lucky people um, that are experts at that let me do it uh, mentality you know this is uh, blah 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 you know 